Hey everyone, I have so many skincare empties. Okay, so it's been a while. School, that's why. It's actually gonna be finals week coming up, but I need a little break. So that's why I haven't really been doing anything. But I have so many skincare empties right now, and I was gonna do it like, oh, every single month of quarantine, but yeah. <laughs> so. So, that was the first one I had filmed a video and ended up deleting it. It was my first like quarantine empties. And now I have this too. So it's, I'm just gonna do it all over again and do it all in one, all encompassing quarantine empties from March to December of right now. Yeah. Jump into it. Let's start with okay. How about we just start with the oddball? This Junior Watkins hand soap it's so good it smells it's agave water and something else it said it's it says it's made with agave water but it smells like it just smells so clean it smells like almost a clean resort it's so good i got this at walgreens I don't know if I've been, I haven't been able to find any more. So then I have three hand creams that I've used up and I'm about to use up another one. So let me grab. So the first thing that I've actually already used up is this CVS Beauty 360 Advanced Repairing Lotion Fragrance Free. This one was nice. It does smell like starch. It was nice. It wasn't bad. Not even that. It wasn't greasy too. It absorbed really fast. I would, I'd repurchase this. I'd repurchase it. But what I would repurchase over this is the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. This is so good. It's, it's super cheap. Along with this Beauty 360, everything I'm talking about is drugstore, except for one thing. Um, two things. Well, everything else is drugstore, because I like that kind of pricing. I'm broke. <laughs> um, but this is just really nice. You put this on your hands, you put this on your face. It's like, just so good. So good. Absorbs in like two seconds, makes your face feel like so nice. The best way to describe this is if you've tried the CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion, it kind of feels like that. So it's actually really nice. And then I have the Vaseline Essential Healing. Um, intensive care th lotion <laughs> it doesn't say lotion on it just says vaseline intensive care essential healing but yeah this is what it looks like it smells it has fragrance in it these two do not this one does so i did only use this one on my hands but it was good it wasn't that it wasn't greasy i don't really like greasy moisturizers but this one though the amazon brand solomo soothing cream it's oh my god i regret purchasing this it's super thick it's really like thick that's just the best way to describe it it's um, fragrance free but it's just so goddamn thick and it's so sticky and greasy i'm lucky that i've been able to get through like this much but i only use this stuff on my hands because like i would cry if i put this on my face <laughs> honestly i would cry but I'm not done with it yet, so yeah, we still gotta deal with that. Let's go into gel creams. So I tried out the <sighs> Materium Niacinamide Five Percent Gel. <sighs> I didn't see a difference with this. It was like hydrating, and there was no like Niacinamide action that I actually saw with this. So no. For $18, no. The serum, nice, but I gave that to my mom. She was using this. And so, yeah, we switched her. Um, but I'm never going to buy anything from Naturium again after Susan... After all that shit, no. I'm not getting my money, Susan. Never again. And then I have the Drunk Elephant Protini Polypeptide Cream in, like, a deluxe sample 
It's so good. I use this only around my eyes as like an eye cream. Loved it. Did I notice the difference? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I never really noticed a difference, not gonna lie. Um, I was using it for a couple months. So I think I should have, but I definitely did not notice any difference. But I would definitely get another deluxe sample of this. I would not buy the full size, like 80 something dollars. Mm -mm. No. Let's go into my favorite hydrator. I used up another hyaluronic acid plus B5 from The Ordinary. It's so good, everyone knows about this. Literally, um, I usually use this at in the morning. I'll dampen my face up, or sometimes I won't, but most of the times I'll dampen up my face, like splash water on it, and then I will um, put a glob of this on my hand, put all over my face, get some moisturizer, put that on, plump. You have no fine lines or wrinkles. It's just like, for a solid like five hours, you'll be good, like super hydrated. It's amazing, I love this, cannot recommend it enough. It's only like $6, so good. Then, I tried vitamin C. I did not try the creme de la creme CE Ferulic by SkinCeuticals. I was going through my mom's cabinet and she had that shit. I was shook. I was like, do you know how good this is? Like, do you know this is like patented, like amazingness? She was like, yeah, it's really good. I'm like, but I tried this by The Ordinary. It's their 23% plus hyaluronic acid spheres in silicone suspension. Mm. I did not notice the difference. Wearing this in the morning with sunscreen didn't like brighten up my face at all. Um, nothing more than like light exfoliation did. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I tried this one and it's not properly stabilized like the SkinCeuticals one is and properly researched, but it was okay. I have another antioxidant that I tried out, the EUK 134.1% by The Ordinary. It's this. Come on, girl. No. Okay, I tried. I used this like a couple times at night and I tried once in the morning. It's thick. It's gross. It's not good. It's just not good. And it doesn't do anything. I don't like it. No. No. But. So next we have exfoliators. One I tried out for the first time. It was the Mandelic Acid 10% plus Hyaluronic Acid by The Ordinary. It's pretty good. It's very gentle. So I'm someone that has oily skin, but I'm on 0.3% retinol a retinoid um, prescribed by my dermatologist. I used different for a year. Mm. Hold that thought. No, I used it for nine months and then for then the past three months, almost three months, when, once it comes to like December 30th, it will be a full year on retinoid, which will be awesome. It's really transformed my skin like if you knew me before, um, like a year ago, like my skin was nicer because like I um, was doing laser, or not laser treatments, the, it's called silk peel treatment. Um, you can get it at like spas. It's really expensive, but I would get it like once a quarter maybe. Um, and it really helped my skin out because I didn't want to do Accutane. So then I was delving into the skincare world and I fell in love with Super Mud. Um, that was probably the very start of like my skin dramatically starting to change for the better was when I started getting into Superman because that was actually like when I would use that mask once or twice a week it would help with my treatments so much um it really helped propel my skin but then when I started the different it was just like completely different so I like a stronger exfoliate fully exfoliation on my skin just because it's gone through a lot and it's like been it's always been through a lot so I'm used to be oily now I'm like semi oily mostly dry especially right now because it's the winter but since I've been on a retinoid for about a year now um now on the 0.3 percent so it's a little bit it's a stronger strength um I have noticed increased dryness but it is starting to balance out a lot more now 
So, um, the mandelic acid, where did it go? Where did I put, oh, the mandelic acid probably would have been a good when I first was starting out on the high percentage dosage for the, um, adapalene, but I already finished this on my body because I just liked using it on, like, stretch marks, stuff like that. That was actually really nice. I would recommend the mandelic acid for body exfoliation a lot, like, it just really makes your skin feel soft and smooth. So really do recommend this for body exfoliation. Not so much face. It's the ordinary, so it's very cheap. You guys all know that. And then um, one of my all-time favorite masks, along with the Super Mud mask, since they're they're kind of very they're similar, but one's fragrance free. Um, this ordinary one, it's the ordinary AHA 30%, BHA 2%. Um, and the other one is fragrance. The Glam Glow one, but the Glam Glow one has six different types of acids plus kaolin and bentonite clay in it to help your skin and like mop up the oils and exfoliate your skin. Um, this really does help though as like a nice like facial. Like if you're looking for like an at home facial, it would be this one because it really does within like 10 if you're brave 20 minutes and you wash your face off like you have to work up to the 20 minutes part it is like clean slate it really is not so much if you have oily skin like if you're really feeling like super oily um i would go with the super mud one just because it has the clays in it and it actually like helps really control that oil this more so if you're like flaky af breaking out um and you're just like, uh, it needs restoration, this one. But you can only use this one like once a week. Super Mud, you could use like twice a week. That's the difference, I would say. This one's much more potent. I really recommend this one. <laughs> Why to say it like that? Really recommend this one. Last one is my favorite sunscreen ever. I've already talked about this in my updated sunscreen routine. This is the Neutrogena Sport Face oil-free sunscreen, broad spectrum, SPF 70 plus. <sighs> Long ass name, but super good. Like zero cast. It's a bit greasy, like a, a bit, it looks a bit greasy on the skin, but it's so good. Like if you're someone with drier skin, you put on your moisturizer in the morning, you put this on over it, you're good. You're done. You don't, this is a very hydrating, um, moisturizer and if you're oily sometimes I can get away with just wearing this in the morning but I tend to not because I do like to oh I do wake up in the morning sometimes with dry flakes just because I am on an adapalene that I put on at night with no moisturizer because that's how my uh, dermatologist instructed me to do it is put that on with nothing else on not even moisturizer Sometimes I don't listen to him and I put a moisturizer on, let that soak in, then put it on, but yeah. <laughs> um, this really is my favorite sunscreen of all time. It's only seven or eight dollars, you can get Walmart, anywhere, literally. <laughs> let me just do a whole like roundup. So products I would not, would not recommend would be this Vaseline Essential Healing Lotion. It's okay if you're okay with the fragrance, but then it's only a hand cream. And like, okay, yeah, cool if it's hand cream, but sometimes my face is dry when I'm putting it on my hand cream and I wanna rub it on my face too. Um, my hands will be clean though, of course. Um, and then I can't with this because there's fragrance in it. I just rather not irritate my skin, so no. I would recommend the Vino one. This one, if you really just can't find the Vino one, the CVS Beauty 360 brand. 10 out of 10 recommend the scent of this hand soap. You can get it at Walgreens. That's where I got it. If I was given this for free, the Drunk Elephant Poly, no, Proteiny Polypeptide Cream, I would definitely use it again. If I was given it for free. Now, if you give me the whole line of Naturium for free, I would not use it <laughs> i would give it away to a friend because i just don't like the co-founder she really did manipulate and use her audience to sell her product and then 
after I like did a fake review on it. I mean, you guys all know, but I don't even need to explain the whole Susan Yars thing. If you're in the skincare community, you already know what happened. And she tied Hiram and Robert Welsh or James Welsh, one of those, I think Robert, into the whole thing. And it was, uh, it was messy. And they're still friends with her somehow. I don't know how, cause I'm actually just kind of like, you took my money. Cause like, I genuinely thought you were just the creator of this brand. And then people put the puzzle pieces together and they're like, oh, you reviewed this brand and gave good reviews, told us to buy it. Come in now to know that it's your brand. Susan, I literally bought this just because it was your brand. You could have just told us from the get-go it was your brand and I would have bought it anyways. People don't think, so shot herself in the foot. So no to this. Would recommend the Hyaluronic Acid from The Ordinary. So good. If you need the hydration, if you have fine lines, wrinkles, in the morning, at night, whatever you want, super good. Would not get this again. The vitamin C would not get the EUK. These two antioxidants. I just rather not. I'd rather get the CE Ferulic if I'm gonna get a vitamin C serum again, but that costs over $100, so no. <laughs> not thinking about it. <laughs> This is just kind of a gimmick, so. The EUK serum, antioxidant serum, no. Mandelic acid, I would get it again if it was given to me for free. <laughs> I already have a backup of this, girly. Y'all already know. I'm testing out some other ones, but I have a backup of this. The Ordinary iPod. I bought one of these, and it's coming. My mom gave me one that she didn't use, so I bought her one, but she doesn't like the color. <laughs> this so she uses super mud instead because she likes the smell and the color because she doesn't like blood so this really bothers her which makes sense the color of blood <laughs> but yeah i think that's it i think that was all of my products what i would get would oh i would not get this one either the solimo soothing cream don't don't waste your time on that if you're looking for like a good hand cream that I can really dupe as like a face cream. You're welcome. It's the Equate Beauty Eczema Relief. I know it's Eczema Relief, but skin protectant cream with 2% chloro oatmeal. This is amazing. Like, listen to this ingredient list. This is from Equate, by the way. This is fragrance free. 2%, so it has the 2% chloro oatmeal, but the inactive ingredients are water, glycerin, propyl propanediol, dimethicone, petrolatum, glycerin, satiri, satir, satel, alcohol, oh my god, I'm so bad at pronouncing ingredients, but I know which ones are good, aloe vera, jojoba esters, shea butter extract, oat kernel extract, ginger root extract, Q10, esters, ceramide, NG, Hydrolyzed jojoba esters, tocopherol, magnesium ascorbyl phosphate, panthenol, hexapeptide 12. Yeah. This is really good. Like, it is extremely good at helping your skin if it's chapped. Like, not only it, is it fast absorbing, but it's fragrance free. So, I got some on my nose. <sighs> It just smells like oats, really, because of the 2% colloidal oatmeal, but it's such a nice, and like, it feels like lux luxurious. It's a luxurious feeling cream, and I've used this on my face a couple times, and it's wonderful. <laughs> it really does moisturize your face real nice, and it's not irritating. It's really redness relieving, like it says on the packaging. It's redness relieving, Itchiness relieving, dryness relieving, scaling, peeling relieving, and release signs of roughness. So it's like all for eczema, but it's, you don't need to have eczema to need it or to want to use it. It's really good. So if you're looking for a cheap lotion, go to Walmart. Get the quite skin protectant, 2% quota oatmeal. So good. But yeah, that'll be it. I hope you all are doing good. I hope you all are healthy and staying safe. If you're still going through your school semester, same here. One more week, we're almost there. Keep on trudging.